more than 2,300 new cases of COVID-19 reported today in Mississippi. In addition, there are 42 additional deaths. The total number of cases now over the 185,000 mark, and the death toll is approaching 4,300. The first shipment, though, of 25,000 COVID-19 vaccines have arrived in Mississippi, and they're already being injected into the heroes in the healthcare field and vulnerable patients. 12 News Alex Love is live at UMMC, where the end of the pandemic crisis is beginning to appear on the horizon. Good evening, Alex. Absolutely, Melanie. UMMC and other hospital campuses across the whole state are beginning to see the first speck of lights at the end of this pandemic tunnel as they get the vaccine into the healthcare workers fighting this virus on the front lines all year long. But it has to be done at a pace you cannot rush. UMMC Hospital Administration plans to vaccinate 600 employees between now through December 23rd. These shots brought celebration from the doctors to many Mississippians across the community. I think it's pretty exciting to see the, the medical community come together and produce a vaccine in such a quick time and to have it ready to go all over the world. The vaccine was given to Dr. Thomas Dobbs and his team at the Department of Health, along with doctors like Luann Woodward and many UMMC staff, as well as Dr. Timothy Quinn with the Mississippi Coronavirus Task Force. Those in the public are anxious knowing it's a lifesaver. Both my mom and my stepdad are in long-term care facilities, and we expect them to both get vaccinated by the end of this month. So we're glad they've been worried and concerned and had outbreaks at their facilities. So to have the vaccine coming this month is, uh, is a relief for all of us. The distribution continues at St. Dominic Hospital, who received 975 doses of the Pfizer vaccine to give physicians, nurses, environmental services, and therapists working directly with coronavirus patients. But others outside the healthcare field aren't ready to jump on. I won't take it. I've had the flu shot before, and I've gotten sick from it. So this is a new something new to everybody, and I just don't think that I would be the one to try it out. It would have to be a while before I'm able to do that. Up to this point, Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine have caused no noticeable side effects, except for a few with allergic reactions. In order for it to be more effective, people must take a second dose three weeks after the first. Medical professionals and those we spoke to still plead for everyone when you go out in public to stay socially distant and wear your face mask even while the vaccines are here because it could be well into 2021 when most of the public gets access to both doses. Reporting in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.